four. Higher ups in the sheriff's department have called out here and ordered them to stand down and go home. And I said, what do you mean? They're leaving us here by ourselves? And he went, yeah. That's Pleasant Grove Police Chief RJ Knight describing what happened at a standoff scene on September the 8th. Thanks for spending part of your afternoon with us here at 4. I'm Ian Wright. And I'm Brittany Decker. In a story you first saw here on WVTM 13, we reported the Pleasant Grove Police called the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office to make entry, help make entry into a home. When SWAT arrived, they say they were not authorized to forcefully enter the suspect's home. The Stavia Hill SWAT team was then called in. Now the situation ultimately ended with the suspect in custody. But the fallout is leaving Pleasant Grove Police and the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office at odds. WVTM 13's John Papke joining us live this afternoon. So John, for the first time today, we heard the Jeffco Sheriff's rebuttal to what happened that evening. Yeah, Sheriff Mark Petway said his SWAT team did show up to help Pleasant Grove with a standoff situation last week, but at some point they realized that the proper warrant was not in place and that some misleading e uh, misleading intel prompted them to limit the team's action. Well, last Wednesday, Pleasant Grove police responded to a call about some guns stolen from a home. When they arrived, the suspect was witnessed, they say, going into another home with guns and set up a perimeter. Jeffco SWAT was called in, but Pleasant Grove's police chief has claimed the team was told to stand down for PR reasons. He has criticized the sheriff's office for failing to properly support his officers in the field. Well, today the sheriff defended the team's actions, claiming any entry into the home would have broken the law. The SWAT team was asked to kick the door in by Pleasant Grove Police Department. There was no arrest or warrant for the suspect. The suspect was not barricaded in his home, and there were no hostages, nor were there any hostages involved. Well, according to the Pleasant Grove Police Department, they never said anything about hostages when they requested the SWAT team support. And also, they tell me that they did have the proper search warrant in place not long after the SWAT team arrived. More on that coming up at 5 and 6. Live in Birmingham, John Papke, WVTM 13.